today we will learn about macros in ms excel so a macro is a tool which will help us to record our instructions or steps to do repetitive works if we have to create a structure for many number of times instead of creating it one by one we can make use of macros so let us see how to create a macro practically so let us consider one example let us create the report card of 60 students so to create the report card of 60 students first we have to design the structure so before designing the structure since we will be doing it for 60 times we will make use of macros so let us see how we can make use of macros so first we will go to view tab from view we will sorry we will click on view then from view we will click on macros after clicking macro we will click click on record macro then here you can give the name to your macros any name you can give you can keep it as macro 2 also let me give the name to be report and here this is the shortcut key that you can give control plus any letter you can type let us type p and click ok now from now onwards whatever i will do inside this sheet everything will be recorded now let us create our report card so first the roll number then the name here we will write down the subjects suppose uh, then here pa1 marks out of 20 then half yearly out of 80 and then let us adjust this yes okay then here we will write total total will be out of 100 okay so subjects see science next suppose maths then social science english hindi or sms and the last computer okay so let us select we will go to home tab now we will click here and apply borders so since this hundred is slightly out of the border let us adjust it okay so this structure suppose i want to create for 60 times now here we can write down the formula to add these two cells so the name of this cell is d6 and this is e6 so here we will write down the formula d6 plus e6 and we click outside zero is displayed because no numbers are displayed here we will click here then make use of autofill drag and drop and for all the columns we have written the formula so this structure i want to create for 60 times now instead of creating it for 60 times i will make use of macros now as i told you just before starting this making the structure our steps were recorded so now we will have to since we completed the structure we will stop the recording go to view click on macro and stop recording so our macro is created 
so if you remember the name of our of our macro was report and the shortcut that we created was control plus p p was the letter that we entered so let us create the same structure in the next sheet click on sheet 2 here we can click on control i mean press on control then p and see automatically the structure is created to create the previous structure minimum 5 minutes we took but here in the second sheet we create it in just one second this is one method sheet 3 you can go to view then click on macros view macro so here the list of macros that you have created that will be displayed so since only one macro we created only one is displayed we will click here and click on run and the structure that you created is displayed so this is how you can do lot many works only one time and reuse it for many number of times using macros so next one more important thing we will learn today and that is creating of our own functions so we already have learnt about functions what are functions so functions are just some normal names given to some instructions the steps are already written we don't use to write those instructions again and again but instead of writing the steps we are only writing down the name and using it so let us see how to create a function by ourselves so first let us delete this and here we will go to home and then no border okay so to create functions using macros first we have to click office button then click excel options from excel, excel options we have the popular tab from the popular tab we will click or we will check the third option that is show developer tab in the ribbon once we check this we will click on ok and the developer tab is here so now there are so many functions already present inside the excel sheet like sum average minimum maximum but at times there might be some steps or there might be some functions that you want to create it for yourself now let us create a function to add two numbers for us so here if you write or if you use the sum function how we will write we will write equal to sum suppose uh, a1 colon b1 and 0 means since nothing is there suppose 2 and 3 and the answer is 5 so here we are mentioning the range the names of the cells so suppose I want to create a function where I don't want to mention the names of the cells. I just will enter the uh, values and the output will be there. So let us create it. So first click on the developer tab. Click on visual basic. So we already have an idea of visual basic. We have learned and we will reuse it today again. After clicking here, we'll click on this insert module. From insert module, we will click on class module. From class module, anyone, not class module, sorry, only module. So from this modules, available modules, you can click anywhere. Say module number 4 I have selected. Now from this module number 4, here 
we will create a event suppose function and the name of the function that I want to create is suppose add after add I will have to give two variables I want to enter integer numbers so I am displaying x as integer and y as integer x and y are the variables and the output also I want as an integer only so as soon as I pressed enter the event is created so here this is a variable this variable will store the output of x and y as integers so this x and y are also known as the arguments so arguments are the actual values that must be provided when we run the program or when we run the function in order to get the outputs so now what this add function will do for us so this add function we want to add only two numbers so x and y x can be any number y can be any number so after adding the output will be stored in and remember one thing always this and this should be always same if any variations are there in both the names you will get an error after this you just remember add after this we will minimize and we will go to the excel sheet so from this excel sheet in any cell you click we will write the name of the newly created function the name of the newly created function was add start the bracket and any numbers you can input say 4 comma 5 so the output of 4 comma 5 means 4 plus 5 and the output should be 9 let us click here and see we got 9 so this is how we are creating our own functions in excel so that's all for this video have a nice time